Hey guys, welcome back to Dawn Route 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we have a brand new benchmark. It's Destroy All Humans, Path of the Furon for the Xbox 360. That's right, today we're testing out the Xenia emulator once again on my Intel Core i7-4790 with the AMD RX 570 4GB VRAM graphics card. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff right off the bat. So, another exclusive I'm playing. I don't know man, I don't know. It just ain't on PC. Uh, let's do whatever I have to do here and see what happens. Now, the first time I actually played a Destroy All Humans game was on PC when the, the remake came out. Good stuff. I did a benchmark for that, you can go check that out as well. Throw him into the walls. Pound the information out of him. Well, that. Great idea, Pog. What would I do without you? This is crazy. The type of stuff this game had you could do in this game. How's your? You think you're tough, space midget? You got nothing. What a trick. I feel it's going to take a stronger method of persuasion. Use your staff. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. The whole point of the Come video is simply Marie, to show you the progress of the Xenia emulator. It runs. <laughs> you know, that's literally the point of it. Just to show the point. Just to show you how the games perform. And I can tell you right now, this is a 30 FPS all day long. Like, this one is good. Casino. What are they looking for? Plants, drawings. They think you're opening some kind of alien-themed resort to bring in a family crowd. No one tells me what to do with my joint. Family-oriented casinos. Puh, I hate kids. They're too smart to gamble. <laughs> bank accounts. These Molinari sucks are trying to break my rice bowl. Which is 5% my rice bowl. We must end the Molinari brothers' monopoly. That's a, that's a cinematic. That doesn't really count as a gameplay. So we're gonna skip that for now and get into another one and see what's gonna happen. Maybe we're gonna go outside and have some adventure there. It's crazy. The game is performing well, but it did have an issue at the beginning. Ah, yeah, here we are. You see, this is why I wanted to test outside. We are getting some vertex, some holy crap! What is it? Vertex sliders issues. In the in-game, holy crap! Dude, it's doing that thing that the Nintendo Switch did. The Nintendo Switch also did this. I don't know. If, I feel like yeah, uh, for Monarch did this as well. Whereas certain areas would, 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 would cause this issue. Now, I am using the canary build. That could just be the canary build, to be honest with you. I'm not sure if the, it is. But in certain areas, it's, it's like that though. In some areas, it'll run fine. And in some, the others, it won't do a damn. It'll do terrible. Not every game is the same, guys. I feel like it's getting better now, but there are some vertex shaders that are just disappearing. The game is having some weird glitches. It's it's not completely there. But once again, this is the canary build. I don't know if the master build would have been more stable. I will test it afterwards, though. Because this makes it unplayable, point blank. I don't think he was one of them. You come after 
You did it, Crypto! Enough Issues, place. man. But that's the whole point of the channel, right? I test out everything on the Xenia emulator. We're gonna run into issues, but that's what I just wanted to have it on YouTube. That there was a video of one of the progress problems in action. If anyone ever wants to look around for one of these games on the emulator, you'll see what happened. This is what happened. One of the worst graphical issues I've seen in a while from the Xenia emulator. I test games at random. This is one of the worst ones I've seen. It's pretty bad. I like the silly. But like I said, it can range. It can definitely range. It may not be, it may only s simply be this. In this angle. If you went any slower, we'd be traveling backwards in time. Keep your pants on. Oh wait, you don't have pants. <laughs> you don't have legs. I was trying to get would set out to destroy the world and take the scenic route. Ah, oh, shut your holographic pie hole. Let's see if it's just in that area. Was it really just in that I area? Didn't know was such a sucker for quiet romantic excursions. What are you see, you, you see how funny it is? How it seems like it was only just in that area that, that that issue came about. I left the area and then the shaders it's fine now. It was literally just in that area. That's crazy. It was literally, I mean literally. Yeah, do the boogie. Do the boogie. Do the boogie. Dude, the type of games people made back in the day, I tell ya. I say back in the day, like it's from the 1900s, 1990s, what the heck. These games weren't my childhood, okay? They weren't, <laughs> unfortunately. WWE, Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, childhood. That was my childhood. Maybe even a little crash. But it runs. It, apparently it's just in that area that the game has issues. I don't know why that's a thing, but it is a thing. So as long as you get out of that area, the rest of the game is smooth sailing. And it runs at 30 FPS too. Holy crap, I feel like I feel like I've come back here now and the issue is gone altogether. Like it stopped glitching out altogether now. Oh I really could just fly out. I didn't realize I could really just fly out. Oh come on, I was there. You've got to be kidding me. There you go. And scene. I'll see you guys next time.